There goes 60% of your skin. I want to clear this up right now. If I'm screaming, it's because this ear is completely swollen shut and I can't hear a damn thing. And obviously I got an AirPod in here for the edit reaction. I can't hear a damn thing. So if I'm screaming throughout this video, I apologize. But it's another beautiful day here on the beach. And um, I figured, what a better day to, to spend at the beach than to stay indoors and um, react to a BMX video. Approximately six months ago, I made a Trey Jones edit reaction and um, it did all right for my channel. I mean, for the Scotty Kramer crew, that's like a poorly, a, a poor performance performance vlog, but for me, it's like best of all fucking time, dog. The reason I'm doing Trey Jones again is because I was thinking, I was like, well, BMX videos are BMX videos. For the most part, they're all the fucking same. I mean, let's be real. Only really one time I was like, wow, this is, this is crazy. This is different. This is something to watch. And uh, that edit was Wild Child by Trey Jones. So I was like, you know what? We already did one, whatever. But let's watch the other one. I believe this one's like twice as long. It's the Trey Jones Shadows What Could Go Wrong. Um, I'm really excited. I've never seen this. I mean, I may have seen it at one point, but I, I don't remember it. I'm very excited to watch this because Trey Jones is one of the most unique riders. He's insanely talented, but here's the thing. He's a great BMX rider. Cassette, no brakes, no, I don't think he has brakes, no pegs. So he's limited, right? You would think so. You would think he's limited. He's not. He does shit that you've never even seen done before. You would see a spot and you'd be like, oh, dope, here's a trick. And he'd be like, boom, fly over you, do a T-bog or like a, like a, I don't think he bar spins, dude. I don't know. He's on his own wave. He's doing his own thing. And that's why I want to react to him again because genuinely it's it's just fun. And if it looks like I, my mental health is slowly deteriorating, it's not. It's just, dude, I mean, come on. Ever since I got to this damn beach, I've been kind of letting myself go. I mean, my hair's still wet. Let's get into the edit reaction. Hey, if it's your first time here, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. Make me a deal. If you enjoy this edit, by the end of it, you're like, damn, that was a good edit. Grayson, you made a good pick. You made a good pick to react to an edit. It, hit me that sub button. If not, it's totally fine. Move on with your day. You know the drill. Buy merch if you want. Shit, I don't care. Oh, okay. You know, in BMX, it's like, I want to do this trick. If I do that one time, I'm like, yo, okay. I don't. I don't need to trick that bad. Move on with my day. Something tells me that uh, that's not the thought process of Trey Jones. The first time I would have hit the ground, I'd have been at an Arby's. I want to go to Arby's because I don't eat gluten. Shit's whack. The kick out. The ki like it fixes your speed at all. Like it does fucking anything besides Trey Jones. You know, he's a quirky guy. Everybody knows that. Especially on a bike. BMX is very expressive. He expresses himself to the fullest on a bike. I mean, shit. Maybe he's just trying to fill up his combo meter. I don't know. Oh, hell. God. All right, you guys know the drill. I can't use his music in this, but um, I really, really like the song. So I'm gonna try to find something with the same vibe, but it's that's why it's different. It's because I had to plug in copyright for your music. I, I gotta pay the rent, right? Oh, you know how sticky you'd be after that? I mean, I guess you would know, but shit. Oh, all that syrup and stuff. professional street rider may have been able to pull that off with pegs. He didn't have any pegs. I don't know if you noticed that. He has no pegs. First of all, don't even know what the hell you call that trick. Second of all, he has no pegs. You could have settled for like a pull-up bar spin or maybe like one of those cool pull-up bar spin to crank flips off a curb. But he's, he's like, you see, you see that roof? You see how there's a part in that roof where there's no roof? 
I'm gonna go jump. Steez on, he like kind of little, little steez before he did the T-Bog. That's stop. This man has the most bike control in BMX. I mean, let me know in the comments below who you think might have more. This, this is my guess. I would bet anything that this guy has probably the most bike control. Imagine what he could do if he had pegs or a free coaster. He would dick on everybody. He would dick on your mom, dog. <laughs> I like that clip so much, but there was a little element of steez to that one. You know, I don't know if it was because the board flexed a little bit and it was kind of like a quarter, so you know, there's something about that. Oh, that spot looks so fun. Is my is my lighting all messed up? No, I'm using the the light fixture in the kitchen. I don't I don't have my light set up with me, but that spot. Damn! I'd kill to ride that spot. Trey Jones just shut it the fuck down. I found out who Sean Burns was like a month ago. And I watched his shit, and it kind of made me want to puke in my mouth a little bit. And it kind of also made me want to shoot up a little heroin. But here's the thing. Trey Jones reminds me of him in a less satanic, drug addict way, if that makes sense. His, he did cool stuff, but Trey Jones is like, if Sean Burns went to college. Oh my god. He quickscoped that hoe. The steez, dog. I'm telling you, style over everything. That's that's how I want to ride my bike. I'd rather have all the steez and all the style in the world over all the tricks any day of the week. It's just me. A lot of people disagree with that, but I don't give a fuck. Where do you people find these curved wall rides? There's a curved brick wall. What, first of all, why would you curve a brick wall in the middle of nowhere? I don't get it. All these people are finding these curved wall rides. I've never seen one in my life. One time I went to uh, Ray's MTB in Cleveland, Ohio, and there was this girl trying to do this curved wall ride, but dog, she fucking sucked. She was so bad. She would go in and she would hit it and she would kind of get two tires on the wall, not like on the wall, but she would kind of, you know, run parallel to it and fucking hit the curve. She was kind of cute though. So I was I was in the back going like, yeah, oh my god, you got honestly every time she got on the wall her never mind. I love those manuals, dude. I, and he's got the steezy ones. Favorite clip so far. That's that's the that's the best clip so far. He's even throwing down hammers on fucking target. So I've been playing this game called Trail Boss BMX, and I don't do all the stupid double backflip, triple 720, that made any fucking sense, but you get what I'm saying. I do all of the like, if I'm going over a huge dirt jump, I'm not doing 10 backflips. I'm doing a bar spin, maybe a tuck no hander. I'm doing shit like that, like T-bog to tables, like steezy stuff. I've never rode dirt jumps in my life, but I've been getting real, real flow, trying to get real steezy at the skate park and stuff, you know, flowing around, uh, just having, more um, quality over quantity when it comes to style and tricks and everything like that. But I, he he rides dirt jumps so well. I I want to ride dirt jumps so bad. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's my favorite shit right there. Dear God. 
Oh my god, they made any sense. Kane scared the piss out of me. I never touched worms, but he did with just his front wheel. Going fast and high. I've seen a curved wall ride to tail up over a fence. I've seen curved wall rides to flares. That was um, that was probably the curved wall ride to whip over a, a, a fence was pretty good. Okay, uh, shout out to Boyd on that one. But damn, this is probably my second second best curved wall ride trick I've ever seen. Once again, where do you find these? This whole time, while well, you guys have been watching this video, I've been over here trying to struggle fighting hiccups. <coughs> Fuck! Keep going! See, like half the stuff, okay, let's say 98% of the stuff he does, it's like, you have no margin for, if you mess up, there goes 60% of your skin. Like, if you mess up, if you're a millimeter off of what the fuck you're doing, you're done, pal. Good luck. This guy, that's how, that's how you know he's a dead giveaway. He's got all the bike control in the world because he's doing all this stuff that if he would have messed up, no more tray. Like, imagine if he cased his front wheel on the steeple of that little, I don't know what the fuck you call it, on the, on the peak of that little roof or whatever, and he slid down on those shingles. First of all, if he's, if he's you know, slipping, sliding down that hoe, his dick's b between his legs down, on the, his dick's gone. First to go, dick and nose, goodbye. And then not to mention, he's gonna scorpion into the concrete, but he didn't miss, because he's Trey Jones. <laughs> Why the hell would you ever want to do that, Doc? I mean, just... Wow. Wow. That's ridiculous. I literally have goosebumps. I don't know if you can tell. No homo, but damn, that was fucking hot. Fantastic at it. That's the end of it, guys. Let me know in the comments below who you want me to react to next. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of at a standstill on edit reaction ideas. Might have to hold on on those for a little while, but um, this was a great video, and I know I've made one before. Hopefully, a couple of you gave a shit about it again. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel lately. The, the vlogs, for me at least, have been doing really well, and I still can't believe people give a shit about watching me react to BMX videos, and I, I'm so blessed to uh, have that opportunity. Anyway, thank you guys. Also, if you haven't seen my last video, it's basically I'm watching your guys' videos of you trying to land tricks and I help you land them. So um, go watch that. Let me know if I should make more of those because it's basically just me trying to help my fans land tricks. And I, and I don't know if I should keep doing that. That sounds like a dick move to say. I don't know if I should keep helping my fans. Let me know. Maybe a new series. I, I don't know. Peace out, guys. See you next time. <laughs>